Hello and welcome to the classic Hollywood movie you should know. This week, the movie is from 1953, Roman Holiday, starring Gregory Peck and Audrey Hepburn, and directed by William Wyler. Now, Roman Holiday is a romantic comedy. The gist of the story is that Audrey Hepburn is Princess Anne. She's in Rome doing a goodwill tour. She's tired of the structure of her life. So one night, she escapes from the embassy, her country's embassy, and spends a day going through the city of Rome with Joe Bradley, played by Gregory Peck. The main reason to watch this movie is the performance of Audrey Hepburn. This is her first major Hollywood film. She had been an actress in some British films. She was on Broadway. She was the original Gigi in the Broadway production of Gigi. And this is her first major American role, her first Hollywood role. And she gives a really dynamite performance. She exudes charm and innocence and grace and even power in her performance as the princess, the princess who doesn't want to be a princess and who comes to terms sort of with her life throughout the film. It was such a good performance. Gregory Peck, in his contract, he got sole billing, sole star billing above the title. As the filming was happening, Gregory Peck realized how good Audrey Hepburn was and that she was giving this incredible performance. So he went to the producers. He went to William Wyler, the director. He said, Audrey Hepburn needs to be billed the same size as me before the title. She's going to be a star. And she ended up getting nominated for an Academy Award and she won Best Actress. There's a couple of really interesting things about this film. It came out in 1953. This is in the middle of the Blacklist era and the so-called Unfriendly Ten were these writers, these screenwriters who were accused of being communists, of having communist sympathies. They were unfriendly witnesses, so they were blacklisted. They weren't allowed to work in Hollywood. Now, the script for Roman Holiday was written by John Dighton and Dalton Trumbo. Dalton Trumbo was one of those blacklisted screenwriters. Instead of giving him credit, a screenwriter by the name of Ian McLellan Hunter got the credit for Dalton Trumbo's work. When the Academy Awards happened in 1954, the Academy Award for Best Writing went to Roman Holiday, and Ian McLellan Hunter got Dalton Trumbo's Academy Award. So it was his open secret that Ian McLellan Hunter did not write this script, and yet it took until 1993 when the Academy's Board of Governors voted and they awarded the Academy Award to Dalton Trumbo's widow, Dalton Trumbo, who died in 1976. And in the movie itself, Dalton Trumbo did not get screen credit until the DVD release in 2003. It took 50 years for his name to be put back in the film. Now, the movie was released in August of 1953, budgeted at $1.5 million. It grossed $5 million in the U.S. It grossed $12 million worldwide. This is a runaway hit. Won three Oscars, Best Actress Audrey Hepburn, Best Costume Design, and that Best Writing Award. And another thing that made this movie so successful, if you're a fan of the BBC's show The Crown, there's a whole subplot of Princess Margaret and her romance with the commoner Peter Townsend. That event actually happened. It was in the papers in 1953, which is the same year that Roman Holiday came out. Roman Holiday being, of course, the story of a princess and a commoner. So the public ate it up. Huge hit. Again, over $12 million gross. So if you are a fan of Audrey Hepburn's work, Gregory Peck, if you like romantic comedies, if you like the BBC's crown, you will love Roman Holiday. Highly recommended. This week's classic Hollywood movie you should know. I'm Nate Washburn. Keep watching.